All right, so the new update for Terra has just dropped. It's the big update, I guess is what everyone's calling it. And I mean, it's not terrible, but uh, we finally got a hard map that's uh, not easy anymore when we finally got one. The map is called Blast Tech Barrage, and this video, I guess, is going to be showing you literally all the skins and the tower that you get out of it, and just my honest opinion about everything you get out of it. So, uh, let's go and, you know, let's go see the skins. Alright, so the first part about this map is you can see that, well, uh, it is indeed a raid map. It is a raid map that uh it seems complicated now let me, let me explain why exactly you have a door there a door there a door here and around 20 these two doors open and that's your exit you do not have increased health in here by the way keep that in mind and uh another heads up thing uh nothing can go through the middle okay you can place stuff on there but like as you can see you can literally place stuff on here but nothing will go through the middle. And also, this does nothing. It's just a very, very crazy visual effects that's going to cause your game to lag even more than it already is. So, that, that, that's nice. So, up first is the easy mode reward, which is this bite skin. And, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm concerned about this man's safety because he's got a little fuse in the back. He's got, uh, I'm assuming radio frequencies or something. I don't know. Like, dead air frequencies i don't know how bombs work anymore but i mean it's looking pretty good you got the little te it's you know kind of textured a little bit so that way it doesn't look just plain black there's little sparks coming out of the little stabber thing i guess if you want to call it that there's the fuses in the back right here and it's all around i mean really good skin now in order to get this skin uh you need to defeat easy mode on this map which uh, the boss is 250k so uh have fun all right so next up is the branch skin that you get for doing medium difficulty which is a 500k health boss this time and as you can see uh I, it, he looks like a rip-off Star Wars character. I do like this skin though because it's a lot different he's not a tree for once he's in fact a uh Rip off Star Wars character, which I guess is better. Also, uh, he, he's very bald indeed, if I say so myself. Like, very bald. And I, I, I gotta say this too the level 5 looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely. I love how he has that little shoulder pad, so it looks like he, like he's literally ready for war. He's ready. Like, this guy is. Like, it's just. I, I, words can't describe how much I like this. Like, it's not a tree. It, it's a, it's an alien, I guess. And a lab. Also, bald. So, uh, yeah. I, I'm, good skin. There you go. That's two for two. Can we make it three? Oh, wait. It's not a skin. It's a tower. And after all the hard struggles you go through, you are finally able to do it. You were able to conquer hard mode on this map after killing a 750k HP boss coming out of this middle gate right here. And you get the Holy Grail, known as Volt. Volt is the brand new tower. It is an attack tower that is a, a little bit weird, to say the least. See, what this guy does is he does this little chain lightning thing that, you know, ricochets off of enemies and allows him to damage multiple enemies at once. Essentially being the only tower that actually has pierce in the game, which, uh... I mean, cool concept, uh, except that's just a slight problem. Dumpster Child still exists. See, even with a 6 limit and the fact that you can just have all level 5s, Dumpster Child just wipes everything just with 1. Th this guy requires 6, and he still struggles to a certain extent. But you gotta appreciate these holograms. Also, uh, everything literally stares at you regardless of where you are. So, uh, have fun getting stalked by, uh, Volt children. I, I, I don't know what you want to call these faces. So, as you can see from the stats right here, this is the max level Volt. You can have up to six of these guys. And the max hit is how many times at max that the chain lightning can work. And yes, the chain lightning does go outside his range, okay? 
So that's just, it, it makes it even better that it can do that alone. 0.3 ray, 18 damage, 8 range. So pretty much, you know, he's he's got to compete with Dumpster because it's at clear. Now, let's just, uh, let's spawn a little something. As you can see right here, I, he's doing, you know, pretty good damage to the Aquas. I mean, they're, they, they die pretty quickly, but... Well, that doesn't seem well enough. Let's let, let's just spam these guys a little bit. And you can see the chain lightning is... Yeah, there, there you go. it's not terrible for once. And we're going to be seeing it again here in a second. We're going to see the whole chain lightning effect go on. And yeah, it, it's not terrible. But uh, dumpster exists and you only need one, not six. So, I guess this tower is meh. I mean, it's not terrible, but uh, if you're looking to complete the collection, I guess he's worth it. Anyways, I guess that's going to do it for this video. I needed something to do because I still can't stream right now because uh, many, many problems with Streamlabs because it hates me. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video stream whenever I decide to do it or whenever I can do it. Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, talk to you guys next time. Peace.